What you learn here will last you a lot. Seven, if you're talented. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. I wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Didn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthal nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Before you even ask, yes, I have an ancestry steeped in magic, and no, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I know Winterhold used to be full of my kind, and no, I don't care that they're all gone now. Does that cover everything? No, I suppose we haven't. Brillina Marion of House Telvanni. First of my family to leave Morrowind in a long time. Now I'm here to study conjuration. That's what's important. Not really. Just that it's very, very old. It was one of the first cities of men in Tamriel, I think. I'd better get going. You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert-level destruction spells yet? Ah, this is good. But Gisargo will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Gisargo. Oh, but you are wrong. The only reason you could disagree is because you are losing so badly you cannot see it. Mages in Cyrodiil are all about politics. The Synod and the College of Whispers are too busy guarding secrets to bother to teach. Skyrim was not Gisargo's first choice. 
But Winterhold is removed from politics, dedicated to study. This is the place for Cisargo to become great. Oh yes, Cesargo hopes to find things that will make him a more powerful mage here. Hopefully small things that fit inside pockets and will not be noticed if they are missing. There is much for Gisargo to be sure of. There is skill in magic, there is charm and there is a strong will. Gisargo will be successful, of this there is no doubt. Mm-hmm. New here too, eh? I'd hoped I wouldn't be the only Nord, but I should have known better. Magic is shunned by most. If it can't be swung over your head and used to crack skulls, most Nords want nothing to do with it. Magic is seen as something for elves and weaker races. No offense, of course. Well, look at the evidence. Nords generally don't trust magic, so it's not off to a good start. Throw in the Oblivion Crisis, which was caused by magic users, and the troubles now with the Old Mary Dominion, who are elves and magic users. And finally, take the fact that the college is the only thing left standing after most of Winterhold was destroyed. It's all fairly damning. Not at all. I consider it a blessing. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence, or worse. It took years of insisting that this is what I'm meant to do. Until next time. Skyrim could not be more different from elsewhere, but magic, magic is Nords the same don't trust no matter magic where you go. Those that use it made it difficult for me growing up. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin. Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power, not something to be shunned by commoners or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds, creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that, without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. The Sea of Ghosts practically came alive. No one was expecting it. Monstrous waves battered the shore for weeks on end. Winterhold was ancient and weathered, but it couldn't withstand the sea's fury. Entire districts of the city were lost overnight. The waves receded in time, but the damage was irreversible. Most residents of Winterhold abandoned what was left of the city. The college survived, and so here we remain. Uh, until next time.
Heard they're reforming the Dawn God.
warning you. Back home.
Kill! 